and welcome to Show Love. I'm Bronwyn Murphy. A cheeky treat for you on this 30th Show Love podcast episode. She. Giggle you are. Right? That's what we do on a table, isn't it? We just laugh. Right. Okay. So I'm catching up with my mate, Liam Charles, otherwise known as a great British baker, television presenter of Liam Bakes and Bake Off the Professionals, judge on Junior Bake Off, author of cookbooks, and only 23 years old. I'm doing all right, isn't it? Okay, no, I'm doing all right. You're doing all right. That's mad. We don't even need to carry on. Now you've just said that like that, yeah. I was like, I don't know, that sounds a lot, isn't it? You're like... 23 years old. Uh-huh. You do, yeah. we, were, we were just talking about Paris Hilton. Imagine what you're going to be like when you're How old is Paris Hilton? I think she's like 40. Huh? I thought, you know what's mad? Because she's been around for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. But I felt like she was... I thought she was still young. So yeah. she's 40. Yeah. But I thought you still young. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> but it's like, for some reason, I just always look at her I think like... Yeah. She must be in her late 20s. She's got good doctors. Oh, <laughs> or whatever you call she them. She said, um, the plastic the, surgery. Yeah, yeah, she hasn't had some plastic surgery. She's she got good juice. I'd say no. It's probably on Google. Yeah, yeah. I she's probably it. got good, be, but good uh, facial care. You she's know, she's all the best. 40. I think so. Oh, my God, if she's not 40, quickly Google she it. Look. Google it. I'm sure she's about 40, because she's been around a long time. Uh, Paris. This is, this is interesting, everybody. While you're doing that, I'm going to say... So much she's, to discuss. She's 40. 40. Yeah, I thought so. Still no one in my age. But anyway, uh, so uh, let's let's start at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not the beginning, because yeah. it's the beginning of like when people start noticing you. Sure. Uh, Great, Great British Bake Off 2017. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I fiddle a lot. I fiddle a lot. I'm sorry. Don't fiddle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll put it there. I'll put it there. That's all the energy you've got. Sorry, I know. I'm I just, love your energy. Just... Okay, go um, I've not watched... The Great British Bake Off. You're I didn't snake. see you. I know. You know that I've not seen I know, it. I, know. Uh, I love you dearly, but I. So I looked it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, uh, so I, I know. I just looked at the bit where you got kicked out. <laughs> 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 Sandy Toxvig told you about it. Do you know what do you know about Sandy Toxvig? I grew up with her. She did a show called Number Seventy Three. I bet you've never even heard of that, have you? What? No. I it was like that. a kids show. It was like before um, Live and Kicking and. And SMTV and what yeah. was SMTV on when you were? What's there? SMTV? Oh Jesus Christ! You're not right, young. What? Uh, SMTV. What it's is this and for? Deck, Saturday, Deck, uh, Saturday, SM, SMTV, Saturday morning television. I was. That was before my time. Jeez, or I might have been like super young. So I, I could have been like I don't know, like. Well, 10. when you were born, yeah, I was working on the Big Breakfast. That was on. Do you know what that Nin- is? Big Breakfast. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Remember, I'm ninety seven. I was born ninety seven. I'm ninety seven. I was. I started working in TV in ninety six. What did you start These doing? These are amazing shows. You need to watch Big Breakfast. Big Breakfast was Chris Evans and Gabby Roslin. And then it was Denise Van Outen and uh, Johnny. Do you remember? Do you know them? No. Do you not know even who these people this are? Is, okay, <laughs> Brian, this is okay. this is this is no. Can you are you allowed to swear? Swear. Okay, there's but no. But if you're going to get told off, no, no, well, by your this, this is, no, 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 no. It's but no, you're Adrian. no, no. It's fine. I always swear loads, but no bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Before like getting into TV, yeah, and like books and stuff. My head, like, obviously I did watch TV and stuff. I'm not saying I didn't watch that. But my head, I spent a lot of time with my head in the clouds, like, yeah. just being, like, in my own world and, like, in my own, like, sort of bubble. and like, I can see it. It's like, you know it's like I mean? the animation that's in your... Uh, this is what I'm saying. In your Instagram. So, like, when people say to me, like, oh, do you know this person? Do you know... Oh, do you know blah, blah, blah? I'm like, I might know the face, but yeah. I don't spend a lot of time, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. This person does this. This person does that. Or watch loads of TV. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of more time. I'm in my own world. I feel like I want to sit you down and go look at this and look at this. One day I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's uh, do you that. haven't even seen Back to the Future, so but I know what that is. Though. No, no, no. I know what that is though, and I've seen. I'm not gonna lie. What was it? I saw like a bit of it once. I think I sent it to you as and a picture. This is shit. And no, 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 no. no. Oh, do you know what it was? Not. Okay, no, there was two times where I saw it. One time I saw it, it was like it was like five minutes. I was like, okay, cool, I'm watching it. I was like, nah. And then, because I just went in the mood for it. Yeah, yeah. But then the second time, it was on Sky, and I sent you a picture. I was like, oh, look, look what's on. But then I got the call <laughs> to go somewhere else. <laughs> to a party. <laughs> no, no, no. To, uh, 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 oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
So I was like, and no one would turn that down for Back do to the Future. I mean? So Back to the Future, I'll go back to there. yeah, so yeah. I was like, I'm going back, back to, to there. Earth, yeah, yeah. So I was like, Boy. I hear you. Right, listen. Back to let's go back to 2017. Sure. So to Sandy Toxvig, who you had no idea about her past, but she she was quite big yeah, when yeah. I was a kid. Uh-huh. Um, she gave you the bad news, mm-hmm. said that you were uh, out week yeah. week eight, week I think eight, it yeah, was, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and then I watched your like, interview after, and you were crying, yeah, and I yeah. wanted to cry. <laughs> you were so small and cute, <laughs> and obviously it, it meant loads to you. Loads yeah, no, you. it did. What do you remember that time? Oh. God, when was that? 2017, yeah. yeah. So 2021, that's four years ago now. Yeah. Uh, which is, four which years. is a lifetime in 23 years old. This four, that, <laughs> this four years is mad. It's gone fast, isn't mad. it? So yeah. I remember, so it's funny because when I got all like, you know, the briefs of like what I have to do each week and stuff, I uh, said to my mum, there's only going to be two weeks that take me out of the competition. Red week, which is week three, and I had an absolute mare with that, yeah, but I just knew I had to do enough to get by. Week eight was forgotten bake. I was like, these are the only two weeks that are going to take me out of this competition. No other week will ever take me That's out. That's crazy. You yeah. have so much confidence. I just knew, I know, do you know what it is? I just knew, I was like, this, I was like, yeah, bro, cake, fine, biscuit, fine, bread, mm, caramel. Sorted. Sorted. <laughs> Desserts, carb, pie, yes. <laughs> Italian, I got this. Uh, forgot a bake yeah. so when I was practicing you know I was you know going through like the recipes and stuff and I was just like and I remember mum coming into the kitchen right so I can't talk to you love. Uh, going so, so, so it's girls calling no nope, it's my friend <laughs> it's my friend <laughs> um, um, yeah so mum came into the kitchen and um, I was like mum I'm not going to lie I just don't feel good about this week and then um, so I'm obviously going into the tent now Done the first challenge, did it right, which was pretty good. And then I came last in the technical. It's the first time I've come last in the technical, yeah? Prior to that, mid-table, you know, top yeah. flight, do you know what I mean? So I was like, damn, my shit, okay, I need to put something out the bag for the showstopper. And more time, my showstopper game throughout the series was pretty good. But I just, I just didn't like the challenge. Yeah, it just yeah. didn't, it didn't, it didn't flow with me. The energy wasn't flowing. The energy, the energy yeah. went right. So... I kind of knew I was going, yeah. So were you not surprised then when they said it? Um, it to be fair, at the time it was between two of us, one other baker and myself. Because there was only like four or five four, of you. Yeah, it's quarter finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, it's between uh, one other baker and myself. I was like, it could go either way. Whatever happens, happens. So <laughs> I remember I was talking to my one of my mates at the time. You know, the night before, I was like, you know, I have like vision, not visions, but I imagine myself, you know being in the final three and walking and rah, 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 rah. but then like every time I imagined it when like Noel Sandy was saying how I you know envisioned it it would go fuzzy it's just weird so <gasps> yeah no Isn't it's weird amazing? yeah it's weird it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be so when obviously at the time when I got kicked out I was like rough I was like oh, I was yeah, like no I've been grafted for so long to do this yeah yeah but then the, but you're yeah. like one direction who didn't win X yeah, Factor, exactly. and yeah. now you've been uh, all the way. And if you had one, maybe this wouldn't happen. It could have been you. completely different. Yeah. It? Yeah, because I, I remember the next day, so I, I remember I left, the, I went, because obviously, you know, you stay in hotels and stuff and stuff like that when you were up here. But I left, I just went home straight away, yeah. And then um, I woke up the next day and I had, like, some weird, like, you know, in, everything in me means I want to, pra- well, I want to practice because that's what I've been doing for the last eight weeks. Oh, yeah. But I'm, I was walking, I was like, bro, man doesn't need to practice anymore. <laughs> so I was like, do you know what? Like, obviously at the time I was hurt. I was hurt. Did you think that's it? It's over for me. Um, I guess so. But you know what it is? I think this is what I kind of, probably me being how I am as a person and being a little bit naive. I know I am. Like, no, you're not. No, just a little bit. No, just you've kinda, got a kinda, business brain. Kind of no, like, not. you know, just optimistic and just like whatever, whatever. Obviously, there are things that I want to happen in my life and whatever, but for the most of them, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, when I went on the show, first I entered the show, I was like, if people like me, they like me. If they don't, they don't. I just want to do it. It's fun as hell. Yeah. I've always watched it since I was a kid, since I was younger anyway. So whatever happens, happens. So after the show, they obviously came out on TV and like you know people like you know stopping on the road and like chatting to me like it was mad, it was yeah. mad. And when I got knocked out, obviously when they showed it on TV, the whole 
country it was like that. Well, I, you say that, like, literally. I, it says... <laughs> yeah. um, you impressed everybody, and you were so popular with the viewers, I've got here. Yeah. There were newspaper headlines like, viewers threatened to switch off after fan favourite Liam Charles is kicked out during the quarterfinal. That, like, yeah. Twitter went mental. Uh, that's it. I'm not watching anymore. That was a travesty. Outrageous decision. Liam's gone, not watching next week. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Yeah. What was that like? That was... Because I was in the pub. So I was at uni at the time, yeah. I was in the pub with some of my mates. So I ref- I didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. No, didn't me, watch it. me neither. <laughs> <laughs> didn't watch it. I was like, yeah, with my mates and stuff. I had chills, whatever. And then... It, what time is it showing on TV? 8 o'clock, isn't Probably, it? Probably, yeah. Eight, it's yeah. nice family time, yeah. Right, so 8 finishes at 9. Yeah. So I know, yeah, at 9 o'clock... It's going to go like, off! Like, I'm not saying, like... But I'm not saying everyone's going to care, but, like, going from, like, the track record of the previous weeks, how people, like, you know, have received me, I'm like, this is... Because everyone's like, okay, now you've got qualifiers, you've got semis and fires, you're going to win. People's, like, you know, planning out my life. When I see them, like, you definitely, you definitely want, you definitely want. So I'm just there looking at them, like, you have to wait to see. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So now, nine o'clock's come now, yeah. <laughs> My phone was like, it was. Because I posted like a thank you thing on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. Collateral <laughs> damage. Like, it was like, I just couldn't. Where's your phone? Like, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, but more time, I do have my notifications off, right? So I don't really get... I don't get them all. Yeah. So, like, I'll have to go into the app to see it. Yeah. It was, like... You would have thought, like... I don't know. You would have thought... I'm trying to think of the one. You'd won an Oscar. Was that yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have thought that I that I married like Beyonce. Or something. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like you would have thought like I'll, something like that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like no, no, no this is my blah, 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 blah. It's great that it'll, but you know to this like I would say like even before lockdown. No, actually, to be fair, when I see see people during lockdown, if I go to the shop or whatever. Four years, like three years later, now they're like, oh no, nah, you was robbed. Really? 2017, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is like a good three years now. We've yeah. had like three more series of the show. I was just like, wow. But then obviously, like, afterwards, you know, getting someone to represent me, Vivian, Love of Loads, and then doing books. And, but yeah. I didn't, I'm not going to lie to you. This, yeah. is, I, this is not, no, like, people will say, like, oh, I did not expect. Like, none of the things that I do now yeah. to happen. So, that's why sometimes it's still a bit of a shock. Do you have to pinch yourself? Sometimes. 100%. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, who but You've would... worked hard. I've watched you. You've worked hard. Yeah, because... You've worked hard on everything. Not only have you worked hard on your, you know, your business or whatever. Yeah. And your your Instagram is yeah. sick. <laughs> <laughs> but your body, like, yeah. you get up... Like, I'm veering off questions now. But you get up at, like, 4.30 or something ridiculous yeah. just to work out. Like, yeah. that's not normal. That's motivation. God, that's You're, like, up there with Orlando Blue. I'm <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what it is, yeah? I just thought to myself... If I'm, like, eating and baking loads, I've got to have the, some sort of balance yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. But then the scare was, for me, is that if I didn't like to exercise, then it would have been a massive, like... Because I'm one of those people, yeah, if I don't like it, I don't care what it is, I ain't doing it. Yeah, you know? yeah, Or, yeah. like, you just see it... You just, you've seen it. If I'm not happy with something... <laughs> yeah, like, I see it. I see it on <laughs> anywhere else. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. even, if, like if it's, even if it's, like, the smallest yeah. thing, you yeah. just see it, you know that I'm not particularly happy with and something. And don't let him have a nap in the day. Right. <laughs> so... And so I was like, okay, I need to I need to find a balance between, like, eating those cakes and, like, trying those stuff, going out to eat with those places and stuff. But then, obviously, keeping, like, a relatively, like, healthy lifestyle. So... When I was when I was in secondary school, to be fair, pretty much most of my life, I always had like weight problems. You know, being like being not particularly at the time the tallest person out there, but loving my food. And well, like, hang on, you're tall. How tall are you? Well, I'm like what five nine. Yeah, that's five, all right. But no, no, back in the day, though, right, so right. I'm talking like you're when you were little. Right, so I was small and white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and like you know, small and white. right. So I love my food. Do you know what I mean? But then obviously, you know. Getting a bit older, you're getting interested in girls and that. Like, I'm not saying I want to be like super ripped and shit, yeah. but like, I just want to. Well, you are super ripped. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> but like, you know, you want to be. Walker. <laughs> I'm, I'm touched the arm. 
<laughs> Are you a, do you know what I mean? So I want a bit of like a, like, a, like a balance. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So um, I started to work out properly from like when I was in year 10, but it was very on and off. Like yeah. in secondary school, like you know, you got loads of things, you don't, you know, just whatever. But then when it got to like, I'm talking, I want to say, when I was in sixth form, I lost sh- like shit loads of weight. Mm-hmm. So, like it looked a bit weird. Yeah. Like, super but how? S- how did you lose it? Oh, I was just doing so much cardio. Mm-hmm. I was eating like I was eating food, but food that's not like just very like low fat foods and like obviously I felt okay. You know, it was still like you know nutritionally valuable to me, but it wasn't like it wasn't making me like. Not happy, but I just it, I knew there was a bit of an imbalance. Do you know? That must be hard when you're baking all the time when you've got all this yeah. cake and biscuits and stuff like. No, for do sure. Do you not eat? Do you not eat it much? I mean, I've got for others. Yeah, no. I, and to be fair, where I live, I've got like a massive neighbourhood, so I just give it all to my neighbours and stuff. But you know, I found and you've done that on Instagram as well. Loads, you? you've, isn't like, it? Yeah. you've like gone out and given that. That's so lovely. Yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did that with my boy Miles. Um, was it the first lockdown or second one? Well, one of them. Right, so who knows where we Whatever are. Wherever it yeah, was. Yeah. But um, we just went around London. One day we did North, the other day we did South, East and West. Like, people that I don't even know just gave it out and just, you know. That's and some so people lovely. did recognise me and some people didn't. Like, it was it was just a nice, like, you know, just a nice thing Give to do. Give it back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And um, so that was fun. But yeah, so went super skinny in sixth form. I was like, this is kind of, sh- this is a bit dead, isn't it? I don't want to be dead, like, oh, like, yeah. do you know I mean? <laughs> Don't be skinny, I want to be rich. Yeah, I just want to be, like, you know, the balance. Yeah, mm-hmm. so then, like, coming to uni now, I was like, if I keep up this working out stuff, but then eat, like, the things that I actually I like to eat, but being mindful about it, mm. you get the balance, and then, you know, through uni, and then sit, and then do shows and that, and then now. So, yeah. at, at uni, like, yeah. that, that you were... That you studied at Goldsmith, drama, yeah, 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 drama. So you kind of knew you were going to go into like drama and theatre and and what have you. So yeah. it's it's in the it's in the blood. Low key, yeah. yeah. I did, yeah. And then so you were, you applied to um, Bake, Bake Off. Off. Yeah. Oh, you, all your uni friends called you Cake Boy. So. Mm-hmm. Well, so how the story is, yeah. So when it, when the show came out, I was in third year, so that's my last year, and. Um, so people that didn't know me, but they didn't know my name, but they saw me like on the show, or whatever. They'd be like, "Oh, you're that, you're, you're that cake boy, isn't it?" Like, <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah." Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like one of those names. Like, I, I don't mind if people call me that, yeah. but my name is very much Liam. Yeah. Do, yes, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I just kind of roll with that for a bit. So if somebody comes up to you now and says cake boy, you're like, "What?" Oh, the sun. Yeah. Because okay. I'm not. Because obviously you come from somewhere, innit? You know, everyone has a story, innit? Yeah. So if you. You know, if you kind of like disregard it at the time, by all means, fine. Because obviously, you're you're somewhere else in your life. But you know, I started there, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people, I've realised this year. People call me Liam Charles. They don't call me just Liam. Yeah. People say my whole name. It's a fucking good name. But is it though? It is a good is name. It you know how it is. You said your middle name was the other day. Liam Matthew Harvey Charles. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah, it's pretty strong. It <laughs> is. It is. Charles is a great surname. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. It suits you too. Does it actually? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Maybe. But and so going back about uh, Bake Off, it was you called it mad stressful. Like I, I've watched people go through it. that. There is nothing. You've got to really want it. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, d- yeah. you can't. The hours that you work, yeah. the, there's not much sleeping happening no. before. So at 19, you were like the youngest yeah. contestant. I think I've ever. I think I was. I'm to this day. I think. I'm yeah. Not too sure. The youngest male to ever go in there. Yeah. I think to this day. I'm not yeah. too sure, but yeah. So uh, how how did? Because obviously you're really you're really. Good. How did it all go about you starting to be able to do this? Uh, if I'm honest, I was 16 at the time. Yeah. And uh, I just had a mad sweet tooth. Yeah, I just like it's like everything like sugary, like cakey, like and you know if you go to like Sainsbury's where you get like the um, the you know the microwavable puddings mm-hmm. yeah, and like so, like that's you know, all I can get. <laughs> so though I like, got those, you have got like the cheesecakes that come in too. Mum and I will always get those, but after a while, just like yo, know, like I watch loads of cooking shows and I eat all this stuff, so I need to learn how to make it. How yeah. to need that? I need to learn how to make it. And they went from cakes to biscuits to breads and to pastries. And so is your mum quite good at cooking? Uh, it's funny, yeah, because she's actually really good, but she hardly does it, because yeah. obviously I do it. Yeah. But then more time, if I might experiment in the kitchen, but there's something sweet, 
and it's about eight o'clock. We just get a delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Do you know what I mean? Like a, like a young Nando's or something like that. It's yeah. just like. Nando's. I love a Nando's. I love a Nando's. I love a Nando's. So you're quite close to your mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She features in your Instagram a pictures. Lot. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's adorable. I'm probably nearer her age than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with the old birds here. Yeah? No, I am close to my mum. Because um, I remember, especially like, you know, when you're like 16, 15. Well, when I was 16, 15, it was like a year of. It's where, like, they were trying to push apprenticeships and, you know, go to uni or find a job straight away and stuff like that. But obviously, I did the uni thing. But my mum's always said to me, like, as long as you have the foundations in, in you know, you've got your you've got your school, secondary school, university, whatever, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, I'll do. As long as mum's happy. Did the uni joint. Yeah. yeah. Study drama because I love drama. Yeah. Get on TV, will we will. Um, I mean, we're getting there. <laughs> I was like, the drama thing was just drama. I was like, okay, cool. So I've given my mum three years to, like, give me yeah. time to whatever. Yeah. So that was the time when I was, like, messing around with cakes and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just do this Bake Off joint because I love to show so much. Yeah. And if I get I get If I don't, I don't. So who, I who actually put the application in? I did. Right. Yeah. Not online? Yeah, online. Yeah. Is it easy if anyone's thinking of doing it? Um, it's not easy. No. It's, it, I mean, like, you just to be fair, the questions are very straightforward. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I would say is to be honest. Yeah. Don't lie. Because the worst thing is with anything, yeah. you know, not even just the application for Bake Off, but just in life. So if you go for a job interview, they'll be like, oh, you said you speak uh, four, uh, five, five languages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah French. But, okay, can you say it? And then you can't say it. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? So just be transparent from the start. That's what I would say. Did you lie then? Oh, 100. Uh, <laughs> did I lie? <laughs> did oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I didn't lie. Just tell the truth. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. be yourself. Yeah. Right? So there's a part of it where it says, um, so it breaks down all like the categories of like baking disciplines. And it, got, it went to shoe pastry, so that's like your eclairs, your uh, profiteroles rolls and all that stuff. I mean, you knew all that at 19. Well, younger. But what? yeah. How on earth? Like, this but is I mean, amazing. You know, but you know what? There's so many, like, obviously, junior bake off, yeah? There's so many kids that, remember, I started to bake around like 15, 16. These mm. lot, you've got people, you've got some kids that come in the tent that are like 9, 10. Yeah, yeah. So. At the time, it was a rarity for someone that 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 young to do it. But the young, the age is getting younger and younger. Yeah, yeah. Wow, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So in the application, it says, like, "Okay, how confident are you with shoe?" I was like, "Should I lie?" I said, "Like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I do profiteroles. I did the whole bit." I said, "You know what? If I lie now, the, the, I'm already starting off a bad sort yeah, of habit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like. Me and Shu, Shu and I have a, uh, a love hate relationship. <laughs> I, I, I said it, it yeah. I'm not gonna lie, do you know what I mean? So I think that's what can, has helped me throughout the you know, three and a half years I've been doing this is just to be like as transparent and as honest as possible. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, you can tell that about you. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. You're, lo- <laughs> you're lovely. Uh, so, any any advice for anyone thinking of like taking a jump like this? Uh, Apart from be honest, uh, just go for it, man. Because yeah. uh, you know it's funny, yeah. Because a lot of people give you like life, uh, uh, you know, lessons, and obviously, you know, um, they'll give you advice and things about how to like you know go through life and stuff, which is fine. They take you on board, but you have to understand that. They go. They they have one life as well, so they're learning as well. So yeah. don't take everything that they say for gospel truth. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you've got to make a mistake to actually learn. So, oh yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, right. Would you say it's changed your life though, applying? <laughs> um, you know, in interviews before, yeah, like you know, like, but like not like chats like this, but like, like magazines and stuff. Yeah, yeah I would say. No, like, you know, it's, it's the same. Like, yeah. But for the most of it, it actually is. Because the same people around me, you just meet more uh, more people. I feel like I haven't changed at all. I think I've become more mature. Yeah. Because I know, like, <laughs> 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 like, some stuff I might have done, like, a couple of years ago, I would have dreamed of doing it now. But... No. But, like, for, for the most of it, like, I feel exactly the same. But obviously, I've just been, been able to do like cool things you've not changed in all the time I've known you 
no, nah, that's dead. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah. Do you know, I know I've told you this a million times, you're the only one that my, the person I know that my kids follow on really? Instagram because you're like cool or whatever. This might actually be the first time they listen to my podcast. Be like, oh, I know, I know him. <laughs> or the, uh, you're like probably the youngest person I've interviewed as well. Um, uh, right, I've, I've said all this or whatever. So you've got the Hollywood handshake. Yep. Uh, Star Baker. Yeah. Um, you, uh, your massive hit was doing your nan Cynthia's curry goat pie. Yep. So um, your nan's obviously a very good cook then. My nan's lit. My nan's like top tier. Because when I used to go to primary school, right, my nan's house was very close to my primary school. So my nan, if I didn't go after school club, my nan would pick me up. So yeah. I, and then she'll, I'll go, I'll go to her house and then she'll like cook me dinner at like five, like four thirty, five in the afternoon. So I'm laughing. But then, obviously, I've just been brought up with my nan's food, so yeah, yeah. It, it took, you know, there's a massive, like, um, my nan's a massive inspiration when it comes to, like, my savoury bakes and my savoury dishes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, my nan's sick. Yeah. My nan's sick. Yeah. She's so good. Is that your mum's mum? Mum's mum, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mom's yeah. Mom. So you're very close to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I am, I am close to my dad's side. Well, my dad's side is so big, but you know, most of the time I grew up with my mum's side. Yeah. But one thing I have to like pay massive respect for to my dad is that obviously I got a brother and a sister, but me and my brother we've got different mums, right? But since we were kids, yeah, my dad made it sh- made sure yeah. that my brother and I were close. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, we live in separate households, but regardless of anything, we are still brothers. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's still... Yeah. So. That's really important. 100%. 100%. How old is your brother? My brother, so if I'm 23, he's 22. So I'm turning 24 this oh, year. Oh, so close. Yeah, like... close in age, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. like my two sons yeah. are about that out there. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Bloody hell. So um, uh, Paul Hollywood called your nan a genius. Yeah. So you obviously think she is. Um, so uh, so you've, you've given Paul Hollywood a run for his money now, though, because you are now... The new judge on the block, uh, uh, Junior Baker. Yeah. How's that? I love it. How how did you know? Did you think that nineteen you've gone into it? Yeah. Like now at twenty three, well you probably earlier than twenty two, whatever. How long have I been the first one? I was twenty one when I. Twenty one. So a couple yeah. of years later, you were a judge. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was nuts. I was so gassed. Do you know why? Because obviously, being a host here on the show. Is wicked, like you know, Tom and I, like we just bounce off each other, we silly, you know, do you know what I mean? It's great, yeah. But like, there's something about a judge, right? But not like a no disrespect to anyone that's been a judge on cooking shows before. <laughs> yeah. Talking to all of them, um, some of them take it too seriously and forget that you are talking to another human being. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so you've got heart and empathy too. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, not because they're, you know, younger than me, it's just like, you know, you can give constructive criticism and you can give praise in a very conversational way without being a douchebag. I think you call it a shit sandwich you give them. Yes, yeah, you yeah. give them a shit sandwich, yeah. <laughs> So you start with a positive, <laughs> then you give a bit of constructive <laughs> yeah, and you finish not so off. Good, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you finish off. But if you can do it in a conversational way, it doesn't feel bad. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that it will spur them on to do well the next challenge. Do you know what I mean? So we're, yeah, yeah. So when you're judging adults in the future, because that's obviously gonna come, will <sighs> you be the same? Will you be not so or when you're being harsh, can I say, remember that time when you said that? Some people will take it too seriously. I'll tell you what, yeah, in a couple of years' time, you replay this <laughs> it, this uh, this chat, yeah, and see if I change my judging style. Yeah. But the plan is just to be <clears throat> just as, like, you know, conversational and as just, like, you know, genuine as possible. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, because yeah. I don't want, because I, obviously I know how it feels to be a contestant mm. on a cooking show and then having being like so scared to present anything to anyone yeah. and obviously now I've gone from one side to the other side of being a host as well as being a judge I mean you've literally had a taste of all of it yeah that's incredible so you've been judged yeah. by, by the harshest maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. what some would say you watch Cherish and Benoit do it and on the show <laughs> they are very serious they're savage right savage but you got a lot yeah. of us but they're professionals they're judging professionals and I think right? that's what it is as well mm. remember these like the, the contestants in pros is like they are like the best of the best mm. in yeah. the country anyway so you can't you kind of have to sometimes maybe lean towards the more like sort of 
crack the whip sort of yeah, seriousness, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just, it's just like feeling, you know, it's just, it's just the gauge. It's kind of weird as well with uh, judging because, like, sometimes a little bit of criticism can make someone go, right, I'm going to show you. Yeah. And other times it, it can make others, like, mash them up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But, you know, it, that, it just goes, to be fair... That's why they say like Sir Alex Ferguson, you know, the former manager for my United. Yes, it's probably yes. like well, like probably was one of the best in terms of man management because he knows how to get the best out of players. And yeah. I remember Rooney saying once, um, I was watching this interview and he was saying how say if it was was it even Rooney's fault, yeah, because Rooney's hard as nails, right? Yeah. He will shout at Rooney about something, but Rooney knows it's not directed at him. Really? It's directed at someone else in the change room. Who couldn't take it. That couldn't take it. Do you know what I mean? That's interesting. So then that player will know, oh, like, you know, reevaluate that first half, but okay, yeah. I was doing that as well. And then you will change it. <gasps> that is Yeah, but how sick. does he know that Rooney doesn't go home and cry and go, why is he getting Ro- shouting at me? Because Rooney's a bad man from early, that's why. Rooney is top tier, best striker for Man United. So Love obviously it. we know that you support Man United, yeah. massive fan. Like, yeah. is Rooney like the best player ever? <sighs> I've got this a few, but really is definitely. Have like, you met him? No. Have you not? No, I soon come though. Give me, give yeah. me like, a, give me like a year or two. You got to have some. Hang on, you got to have something to look forward to. Like you've done it all at twenty three already. You yeah. can't just like get all your stuff done yet. Yeah, because like, you know what it is as well. Yeah, you know, especially like people my age, a little bit younger, they feel like it's weird pressure that they have to, you know, become successful at a young age when you get to like thirty. Mm. Like have kids and shit, yeah. or like, or do you I know literally, mean? Keep, I keep telling you though, right? Approaching a big number that is nowhere near thirty, yeah. I felt the same pressure. Like I had my first kid at thirty-one and sure, second sure. at thirty-two, or whatever. Uh, like literally, when you get past forty, you go, "What was I rushing for?" Yeah, like, it's rough. I mean, obviously, there's a, a clock ticking if yeah, you yeah, want yeah. babies and stuff like yeah. that. But there is no rush. There actually, there actually isn't. You could start doing whatever you want to do, like your dreams or whatever at 50. That's the thing. Mm. But it's like, and obviously we're in this generation now, it's like a lot of things are very social media heavy. Mm. And kids that are like 15, 16, they feel like the only way to be successful is to be famous or yeah. a social media presence. Now, like this is coming from someone it's kind of like... He's very famous on social media. It's kind of like, you know, can I really be saying this? Because I do have a social media presence. But I do remember, remember, I'm 23, yeah? yeah. And I've only spent like three and a half years in some sort of like recognition, sort of, you know, public eye thing. Yeah. So most of my life wasn't that. Yeah. So seeing it now and seeing like my nephews grow up and like, you know, people around that age grow up, it's like, oh, how many followers? How many, how many likes? How many... Like, that makes you worthy. Or Do you know whatever. what I mean? And it's mad. Yeah. Don't get me wrong yet. Everyone that has a social media, let's be honest, they'll look at, say, if they post something, they might look at their phone thinking, oh, that one, that, 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 that didn't do that, so that, well. That didn't do that well. Hurt it rough. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking, you're thinking, I put it in hours for that, yeah. But then you put, it's funny, I'll tell you a joke here. Yeah. It was, you know, like the animations I'd be doing yeah. on my Instagram, so... I think I put one up here yeah, and I thought it was shit hot. I thought, this is wicked. But more time, I don't... To be fair, I'm, this is not I'm saying it because, but I... It's art. So I just put it out, I don't care, yeah? So, but I got caught slipping, yeah? So I looked at it, I was like, oh, okay. That's not that sound, whatever. But then, I put a picture of me outside Ikea and it went mad. I was thinking, look, look, I took... The picture took 10 seconds to take, yeah? <laughs> but this editing joint took, like... I don't know, hours upon end. But it end. just shows you there's no rhyme nor reason to it, right? Right, so this yeah. is why, this is you why. You can't agonise over it. This is why I'm saying, that's, and that's like, you know, once or a few times where I've been like, ooh, a bit of a, but I was like, look, this is why you just have to put anything out there. Yeah. Because there's no... Just do you. Yeah. Be you. Yeah. Can't fake that either, you see. I know, impossible. But what worries me about social media, I know of people that in private, they are not nice. Yeah. Or not particularly talented or whatever and then uh, well, let's go not nice yeah. and they they've got a media pre- social media presence that is completely different to who they really are and people believe that and that worries me but you know um, but facts I, yeah but you know it is as well yeah i feel like a facade only you you know kept up for so long yeah, in it yeah. and don't get me wrong if you've got like millions and millions and millions of followers or you know you're massively famous or whatever not every single fan's going to meet you. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. But for the ones that do, 
Yeah. They'll and, see. and they'll see it. Yeah. And also, it's like, you know, when you do like a show or if you're a musician or you're an artist and you're performing to amongst the people, you always have to perform as if they're a new set of people, they're a new crowd. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? So this is completely fresh to you. You have to perform like it's your first. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. You've but, got a wise head on your shoulders for someone so young. Yeah, you have. I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. It's just like, I've just gone through, I remember, like, when I was a, when I was a kid, this saying always went through my head, yeah. Like, and obviously everyone has blips. I Everyone has blips. I have blips. I have... Yeah, but that's growing. Uh, yeah, I it's have growing. stuff ups. But, like, predominantly, I just want to treat people how I want to be treated. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It. So... Yeah. And it comes back around, like, yeah. you know, that you'll, you'll notice that. <laughs> Being old, I've noticed that. Uh, I've noticed people that, um, say, in the TV world, directors or somebody that's, like, high up, execs, absolutely rude to the runners or the security or whatever. And they're wondering now when those runners or security are now like running the joint, yeah. <laughs> why they're not getting employed. Yeah. Whereas, you know, you just treat everyone like you say. It's like, full yeah, circle. Yeah. Full circle. Full circle is a wrap. I tell you this. Through lockdown, I'm telling you, full circle is a real thing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I've changed a bit during the lockdown. I, I, well, I think I've made my circles a bit smaller. Yeah. Do you, have you did, done that? No. Um... You kind of know who's kind of there or who's, like, good for you or toxic or... I have definitely eliminated a few people. Mm. Well, not a few people, like, one or two in particular, but this is as of recent. Um, I knew her for a couple of years. And, like, we, you know, we would get along, yeah? Yeah. But, like, something in my body, right? Something in my head, yeah? <laughs> like, yeah. I know I should probably listen to this, but I don't care. But, like... She probably won't. Like, no, this is like, I, I tell you why she'll listen to I haven't it. got as many listeners as you've got followers. Like, don't let me she, tell you. Um, she, um, but I've known her for like, I don't know, three, four years, yeah. Are we talking like matters of the heart or is this just a mate? <sighs> it's like kind of in between, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. But like, for so, you know like chocolate cake, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like you know, <laughs> it's tasty, it's good food, do you know what I mean? Like when you eat, you like, indulge and whatever, yeah? <laughs> But then if you eat too much mm-hmm. of it, you start to feel a bit sick yeah. and like shit, like, damn, yeah. So it's like kind of our relationship, our friendship is kind of like that. Mm. But then after a while, it's like, do you know what? This is not actually good for me. Yeah, yeah. Not saying that we did the full Monty or anything, yeah. but it was just like, I just don't, I don't know what it is, yeah, but my spirit is telling me. Yeah. You know, you you know inside. That's the thing. You know, and like, but some some people don't get out of the circle of going. Oh, but it feels good. Yeah. Oh no, it's horrible. Oh, but it right. feels good. Yeah. And then, especially when I would say, you know, the times where Boris said, "Oh, you could do this and do this." Like in those times, yeah. like, I was hanging out with mates. Let's be honest. Like yeah. you know, like because the, the the rules are very convoluted, and you yeah. can do stuff, but you can't do stuff. So yeah. we have like loads of chats outside six people. Whatever. Outside yeah, six yeah, people, yeah. two minutes. Yeah. Minutes <laughs> <laughs> right and um yeah so we'd be talking about it and i would say like you know how i felt about situations and then you know hearing it from someone that's outside the situation i'm like raw i'm an idiot i need to look i to i had what what was i drinking that day i think i had a bit of like rum and apple juice yeah yeah like just a chill one yeah and then my brain just went like that Oh, what like a light bulb? It, it was just like, whoa! What am I I've been doing? Stalling. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, what am I doing? So I just did. Blip, blip, blip. What text or just, oh, yeah. delete, 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 delete. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, really. I'm not... So you just cut them dead, gone. I, you know, is I, I very rarely do it. Yeah. Because you, everyone deserves yeah. chances. Yeah, like. Third, second, third, whatever, depending on the circumstance. But I said, I might just have to go for the chunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a very. I, some people are toxic. Right. And, and maybe not for other people, mm. but for you, and you're like, nah, I, I can't. Yes, I, I was going to say my kryptonite, but you probably don't even know what that means, yeah. I know what your kryptonite is. is it? Superman. Oh! God, oh my God. Why is it in real that, That's an old film! No, but remember, they remade like. Oh, Superman. about 100 oh, of them, yeah. Oh, kryptonite. Where's your kryptonite? Uh. Oh, dishonesty. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand it. I hate people that lie. And I really don't like drugs either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if, I don't If anyone, if I, if I 
meet anyone and I know that they've done drugs or they're on drugs, I'm like, goodbye. Yeah. I mean, obviously not, not like, I just won't want to hang out with them that hey, night or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't, don't like it. Yeah, if, uh, drugs or not. I, I'm never taking a drug in my Promise life. you me, you won't. I'm too scared. It, well, don't, yeah, that's a good place to be. Do you know it, it ruins people. Oh, mate. It ruins I've people. I've got like a... Just say no. Yeah, I will never. Uh, like, let's uh, just, I've got the couple of things that we've skipped over. Sure. Your Instagram, like the... Um, Animations and yeah, stuff. Yeah, tell, yeah. tell us a little bit about that because right. uh, there'll be a lot of fans that that look at your Instagram. I love your Instagram. You always do a story every day, I know. and a lot of them are just you like looking. Uh, I know it's pretty. I know. I know. I tell you, but there's a reason why I do that. Yeah. So okay, I'll tell you that about that first. So you know how like obviously they can't see it, but you know everyone's very selfie like this. Well, up high. Up high. No, that's because old people like if you do it down low, it makes you look. Saggy. Okay, fair enough. But like, I'm talking about people my age as well, yeah? yeah. They want to get the best light, you yeah, know, all yeah. these things. So and, fake. And rare, rare, rare. But I'm like, more time. When we're on our phones, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Our phones are like down here. Yeah, you're lucky you look all right looking down like that. That's right. People have to get used to it, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so like, more time, we, we, you know, we're down here, yeah? So mm-hmm. that's the most natural position for your phone and for your neck, for yeah. your position to be. So I'm like... I'm just gonna do. Sh- I'm just gonna do stuff here. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. People always say to me, "Do you know why do we show your nostrils on the <laughs> your nostrils? Why do we show for this position on like Instagram? Because I can. Because like, I can. Yeah. And plus, it feels, it feels more like you know supernatural to me. And it's like the most natural thing to like to do. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Whereas that's because you haven't had a fright yet and looked down and gone, oh, "What the fuck is that?" I mean, that's gonna happen one sometimes day. Sometimes you do. It's like, oh, I look a bit. Especially if I didn't have a trim, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, Oh, man, like, <laughs> grizzly bear but it's like it's like the day in the life isn't it so that's where, where, where'd you get your inspirations for all your stories and stuff like nowhere I just I don't know I just do what fit comes in my head yeah, I just so creative I just don't I, it's so funny yeah because like Instagram is one of those places like, I just don't really overthink especially yeah. the stories because it's just like I don't know man. I just I uh, but it's also colourful and like like these animations. Oh, like the like animations I've fallen in yeah. love with them. I know I keep banging on about them. Yeah, yeah. But they look so they make me want to look at it as well. No, it's like, wicked because so in lockdown, obviously like work kind of like stopped for a bit because obviously pandemic and stuff. So mm-hmm. I thought, okay, I need to find a new way to sort of convey food because food. Don't get me wrong, food is great. People do loads of videos. It's wicked. But I was speaking to my brother one time. He said, "Bro, like." How do you watch people fry an egg? Like, <laughs> that is so boring. I can't watch cookery programs. They bore the shit out right. of me. Right. So I'm like, okay, I hear that. Even though I can sit through... But I through, can watch your Instagram. Right. So I can sit through, me personally, I can watch, like, I don't know, Chef Table on Netflix, yeah? Or, like, no. Somebody Feeds Phil, yeah? Or something like that. I've not even heard of it. <laughs> Phil's my guy. I'll tell you about him after. Like, he's a legend. So... Phil? I, Phil Rosenthal. Right, right. Um... I can watch a cooking show, yeah? And bearing in mind, the cooking show on Netflix is like one hour each, yeah? I can watch like four back-to-back easy. Really? Right. You love it, don't you? I can, like, it's just the colours, you know, when you hear the frying pan, and just the flames, and I can just do it, right? But I think, okay, cool. But also, I have a part of my brain that works like this. Yeah, there's yeah. a part of it that will take time, you know, be very, you know, very, you know, methodical and stuff, but it's a part of my brain that, like, I say quick things and you know I'm very like I say don't particularly might not say words but I say like loads of ad libs and you know just quick on my feet yeah, yeah. so I was like okay cool how can I combine that and my love for other things apart from food to food so that's when my reels came about so you know the 30 second cooking video is where I put like different you know it's just mad it's mad it's, sometimes they don't make sense but it makes sense to me yeah so I've been doing that. Well, I see you just editing them all the time. Like, yeah. it's so clever. Right. So You I'm, don't really switch off. I do. Yeah. I do. I do switch off some flash, you know. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I think you're always like... Kind of. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that could be sometimes to my detriment as well. Well, no, because that's how you become successful. I guess so. Yeah. But also, it's just like, chill out here, it's fine. You know what I mean? But anyways, so doing these rules now, and then I saw people asking like, oh, I need the recipe. Oh, I need the recipe. Mm. Not saying anyone sounds like that, but <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean. You're you up. I need the recipe. Do you know what I mean? But I've yeah. seen the comments and stuff like you know, I need the recipe. I need the recipe. It's like fine, but a lot of people, what people tend to do, and if it works for them, it works for them. You know, puts the whole they put the whole recipe in the caption box 
as he had this long ass thing yeah with the, the picture but nobody really reads yeah well I won't read it anyway yeah so but then I've got a mate called Alex and she's like she studied animation at uh, I want to say Bournemouth University so like you know through lockdown like you know we were doing like Zoom calls and like FaceTime calls you know like Evans occasionally or whatever <laughs> and you know we were just knocking ideas around like what could work and then it was like okay if you continue to do your recipes and stuff and then I'll do like these animations so we'll tie them together and we could do like a voiceover you know what I mean so now we've called them recimations so it's like recipes and animations I and mean, when you swipe across obviously you've got the full thing mm-hmm. so it's just a thing that we've got running now so good it's and, so good and then like recently I've only we've only been doing it for like Solidly, like, two months, two and a half months. Um, and then, like, Nando's got in contact, and we did one with them, which was wicked. But, see, this is the thing, though. I was always saying to... I have always say to Alex, like, even though it's great to work with brands and stuff, predominantly the reason why I did this is for myself. Yeah. You know, for ourselves, to create something wicked for people who actually want to cook these recipes. So, if brands do come, sick. But if yeah. they don't, like, I'm not really too bothered, because... Yeah. They're knocking on the door, man, the brands. Yeah, no, no, no. Is there anything you can say that uh, uh, you're allowed to say? Uh, Don't say anything that will get you in trouble. No, I won't, but there's there's something that I've been working on with someone else for, like, nearly a year that you would really like because you like the animations, but it's going to be sick. Wait and see, right? Yeah, Wait it's going to be it's gonna be stupid. Like, yeah. I, think, I think that's the problem with food as well food industry, baking industry, whatever, we're very scared. I don't know what it is, but I think we're very scared to, like, collaborate with different artistic fields. Mm. It's, like, music, football, I don't know, like, like at physical art, like, portraits, like, you know, drawing, painting. Um, but it's time to, like, cross over. Well, I saw that you were on Soccer AM. Like, you, you're crossing over. You're doing... Yeah, you Because you love to. football, yeah. don't you? You love video games. Yeah. Which it sort of shows in your sure. Instagram. I think you could be the, the one that... The pioneer for it. You just, I mean, bacon for so long, I know. I love you, pioneers. <laughs> Thank you, because without you lot, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing my Who's thing. Who's the oldest one that you, you admire? Like, the one uh, that I... Who do I... No, I, don't, I wouldn't say I admire anyone. Admire is a bit of a strong word for me. Okay. I, like, I rate a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, who are you talking? Bacon-wise, yeah. Dominic Ansel... He's the guy that created, like, the cronuts. He's, like, a cross between a croissant and a donut. Okay. Love the guy. I love Christina Tossi. She's, like, this American baker that she just... You know, her flavour profiles... I sound like Cherish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> her, her, like, her inspiration and her flavours are, like, very similar. I can see a bit of me in her. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. like, I take massive inspiration from her. She's great. Um, them two are just wicked. Yeah, just anyone like caught, it's just sort of a bit off the cuff, like yeah, not yeah. trying to. Have you met those people? I've met Dominic Ansel. Yeah, that was lit. Really? That was wicked. Yeah, were you like? I think you're great. Nah, I think he probably said, "I think you're great." He was like, "Hello, how are you?" I was like, well, "I see the big I was like, <laughs> in my head, I was like, "You <laughs> yeah, 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 seen yeah. me before? You <laughs> seen me before?" Well, outside, I was like, "Oh, sick, man!" Wicked, I can't like, wait to meet Wayne Rooney. When the day I meet Wayne Rooney, I think I don't know what I'll do. We're not, let me tell you, I met Madonna, right? Yeah. She, who I grew up admiring. And literally, I'm cool, I'm cool meeting yeah, famous yeah, yeah. people. My lip did not stop quivering. That's like, as some mad. sort of like tick. It was the freakiest thing. I, and I had to look down, and her little daughter, Lourdes, was like a little toddler. Yeah. And I had to look down and go, hello. Like that, to, to stop, to sort of go like that. Go, what? That it was an involuntary. You might have something like that. That's mad. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe I, not. You'll be cool. And you'll be I'm cool. trying to think. Have I met anyone that's gave, giving me, like, the, you know, oh, oh, oh. Um, do you know Big Nasty? Yeah. So I met him. This is when I first, like, when I was still in uni, but I was getting introduced to, like, TV and stuff. I think we did, um, say, Jim, not Chatty Man, Alan Carl. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we both was both on the panel that day. And, um, Is that the one where they were like playing you with loads of booze? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was that was rough. And yeah. he was quite, quite drunk. Yeah, well they were, but I I was sober as hell. I just came from uni, innit? So imagine this. Oh, like, that's you didn't drink. No, so no, no, no. To, yeah. And also like imagine this though, like so I'm in drama class, rolling around on the floor, being a drama <laughs> being a tree, yeah, being a tree. <laughs> yeah. 
And then I get a message on my phone, like, you know, uh, your car's outside. So that it's like, it's two worlds, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, oh, your car's outside. So it gets picked up. But this is not no budge, like, no disrespect, but like a, you know, a Uber, to a purist. It's like some mad, like, I don't think I'm still young. I'm still young now. Like a limo. But it's like one Mercedes black tower oh, for kids. Ah, I'm like, this is crazy. It's like, hello, Mr. Charles. I'm like, <laughs> Like, there's been a few times, yeah, where I've been like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, what is there? Like, I was like, do you need anything? I was like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> so when I went, I've gone to my room now in the, was it ITV Studios? Yeah. Leave Charles at the door. <laughs> yeah, made it. I'm like, do you know what it is? It's not even the, I never think I've made it yet, but I'm like, this is mad, yeah? Yeah. But I hear, I, down the hallway, I hear this voice, yeah, bare loud, I'm just bare rago, just bare, like, you know, rah, just bare expressive. Yeah. I was like, who's that? I was like, that's bare loud. He didn't see me, yeah, but I was like, oh my God, I'm laughing. <laughs> and then we had the opportunity to chat, we were hanging out on the rooftop together, um, legend. And then we occasionally he would, like, pop up and stuff. And, nice. Yeah. So that's, like, him, who else? More the comedian as well. He's spoken a few times. So you've got loads of celeb friends now? No, I mean, I wouldn't say, uh, I mean, I've, you know, you know, what's nice though, I've met people that are in the public eye, I've met a few of them that are not douchebags. Yeah, and yeah, they're just, yeah. Like, they're just super there are quite a few nice ones. Yeah, no, do you know what I mean? But there are some There's a hand, yeah. Too, yeah, yeah. So like, you know, I've met like a handful of them where it's like, yeah, cool, like we have cool conversations, yeah. chop it up and just like, it's like. One of the show. nicest people in TV is one of your best friends, like Tom Allen. Oh yeah, he's a legend. I mean, le- literally you get on like a house of He is, I swear, I, even like, I was talking to my mum about, well, I was talking to my mum about yesterday. Basically, I was saying like, Imagine not doing this show without Tom. I think I'm not. Oh, like I'm not saying like the other person would have been great or whatever, yeah. but I can't. I'm not. It's a dream. Yeah, I can't imagine not doing this show without Tom. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, talking about uh, with Tom a little while ago about you two driving around in a car together. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah. Which uh, the idea of that makes me die. This is the new program for you. You and Tom driving around eating food in different countries and stuff. That, not, it would be lit. It would be so much fun. Like you're saying, like you're saying, go left and he's going right or whatever. And it's funny, yeah, because I. Like, Obviously, he's driving, but I've got the orcs in it. I've got, I've got. So I'm playing all types of ma- like I'm playing, I'm playing anything. So I'm playing like from I don't know, like I'm playing stuff from like Gets. Do you know Gets? Gets is a is a my kids and I Gets is a season. I barely know bear as a word. Like I, there'll be people listening to this when you say bear, they'll be like, what, what the hell is he talking about? What's, yeah. what's he talking about bear? Get, this is a new word that the kids use. Bear means when it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of right. So uh, Gets, I'll play like Gets. Like he's like the season legend in the game MC. Like he's one yeah. of the best to grace this country. Period. Period. Top right. three. Yeah. Top three. Would I know? I, I don't know. I know Sam Tom, did I? I don't know. No. Maybe. I don't My know. My kids are probably better. Probably. Yeah, yeah. But he's he's recently released a, a new album, Conflict of Interest. So I'll be playing some of that, yeah. He's when his song was like, hop in and hop out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, like, Tom is like, Tom is like, you know how Tom can be stiff, like, so, hop in and hop out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like popping his head so we'll go from something like that to like I don't know because my my taste in music is very versatile and we'll play like I don't know uh, do you know that song by Owl City Fireflies yeah yeah, yeah so I'll yeah. play that and then, and then that's our song to what we listen to when we first enter the kitchen when we park <laughs> up and when we come back oh you've got like a little routine yeah so when we come into the car park in the hotel yeah Instead of going to straight to the to the parking park, we'll go round the car park about five times. Yeah, <laughs> just to listen to Five Live. Yeah, it's actually jokes. Oh my god, you two are so adorable. It's funny. It's just like, but you do, you don't even need to hang out this much. You just do it because you love each other. No, we actually right. don't. We yeah. actually, it's it's funny because like you know, I hear stories about like different like you know quote unquote talent. Yeah. I found that such a weird word. Yeah. But, um, you know, they say you know they just go straight to their room. They don't make yeah. noise stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. I just it's it's hard, like you need to, especially in a lockdown. Don't go wrong. We've been doing this for three, four years now. 
But like, imagine just being cooped up in your room and just yeah, like, yeah. that is dry. Yeah. And after a whole year, not that. Yeah, yeah. No, and you want to hang out with your, your buddy. Exactly. Um, I've written down here, like, you love baking cheesecake, biscuits, bread, mince pies, all of my favourites. When am I coming round? Wow, when, <laughs> when lockdown's over. I went, wow. Well, Will I, you cook for me? 100%. 100%. That's quite exciting. 100%. I'll do that. That is large. Um, we've, we've done most of our... Right, books. Let's talk yeah. about books. Yeah. Uh, cheeky Treats. Yep. Um, you gave me that. Thanks for that. Yeah I've, I've, yeah, I've cooked a couple of things in it. Let's go. And Second Helping, second yeah. one, which is a bit... Um, it's like savoury Savoury stuff, yeah. 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 Uh, and not to, mention, I put, not to mention your Wicked Sick Lit socials. Which uh, really <laughs> she said um, Wicked Sick uh, Like, is, is there another book coming in the future? Are we, um, are we quite content with t- two at 23 years old? There is, but you can't tell me, right? Put it this way. I just feel like... I didn't want to do a book last year. Was it 2020 last year? No. Mm-hmm. Second Help is coming out 2019. 2020. Yeah, I didn't want to do a book last year because I just feel like I didn't want to force it. And don't get me wrong, there's like a, there's always room for a new book to come out. But I was just like, I'm not, my headspace is not in writing 100 yeah. recipes for, for a three month deadline, having to test all that stuff. Like, I'm just not in that mode. There's a way of, you know, conveying your art in a different way it doesn't have to be mm. on paper like that yeah. do you know what I mean so but don't get me wrong best believe I'm writing another book so so all this stuff about you yeah I, I, I would say you're a catch oh my god <laughs> are you single at the moment yep I'm very single right I'm very single okay so have you got loads of ladies sliding the old DMs <sighs> any tips tell us what for the ladies listening what's your type what do you want <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you knew this was coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know, but... All right, tips. What, for them to pull me? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, what do you look? What do you like? What? What's your type? What, what's my type? I don't really have a type. Let me tell you a story, right? Okay, go, go, so, go. Joel Domit, you know the comedian Joel Domit? Sounds familiar. Yeah, you, he, he's the master singer, presenter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, his wife, yeah. slid into his DMs Is with it? the cat emoji with the heart eyes. That's it, all she did. I mean, she's a fox. Yeah. So he looked at her and went, hello. Um, but it, that, that worked. I didn't that know worked. they're married. I mean, I, now they're married. I love that it, right? That is so lit. That is so lit. So I can't, I can't say words like lit. It just doesn't sound too well for that. Uh, um, so, you know, if somebody slid in with a little cat with heart eyes, would that be enough? No, I'm no. gonna lie. But you know what? It depends. <laughs> but you know what? To be fair, yeah, there's loads of variables, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> it, could, it could depend if it's sunny outside, mm. if it's rainy. Yeah. It depends on what mood I'm in. Yeah, but okay, let's, what's your kryptonite with women? What are you not into? Oh, what am I Just not so they into? don't even bother trying. What this? am I not into? It's probably better to say what you are into, isn't it? There's, I'm trying to think, what am I not? I, I need to, like, you know, like, games. I don't like games. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I hate games. Yeah. By saying that, I've been prone to play. If, if, there's, if there's a game, yeah. I will play. Yeah, well, that, if they I give play. you the game, you're going to play. I will yeah. play. I will, yeah. I will load up the console. But you'd sooner no game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, yeah. In an ideal world, yeah. no games. No, it's, that's toxic shit anyway, right. isn't it, games? But everyone loves a bit of toxic. You know, people say, no, 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 we don't like it, we don't like yeah. it. But let's be fair, yeah. If, and you know, people say, I even say it as well, like, why can't you just be simple? Mm. A and B yeah. equals C. But you like to be kept on your toes. I love it. Yeah, I exactly. love the whole like. Do you want to hand it all out? You've got to keep a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I like the little. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's why I prefer it personally, yeah. I prefer to meet someone. Obviously, it's the new age, you know, so like, you know, meeting people online is kind of, you know, the thing now. But before, Do you meet people online? Well, my ex girlfriend, I met her online. Right. Um... But so where where do they need to look to see you online? <laughs> There'll be some girls now, like ah, just just I don't know, just find me, just catch me outside. Yeah. But yeah. but going back to the point of like you know <laughs> me 
I prefer to meet people in real life. Same. I like the whole, like, see if you go to a dance or you go to a little, like, bar or go to a restaurant or a little function yeah. and you see someone, you're like, you know, the boy or whatever, and if you're like, with, I'm with one of my girlfriends, like, I'm like, oh, I've seen her. Like, yeah. Oh, she's back. <laughs> she's she, she, She's not. <laughs> and then I have like a little bit of eye contact. That's the best way, but we haven't been able to do that for so long. Yeah, no, but then obviously. Watch like, out, world, when we can do that. Do you know what I mean? But DMs, like, everyone, if people say, no, I don't reply to my DMs, but like, I'm not gonna lie, if someone that's extremely attractive. Yeah, you might reply. And there's wicked chat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you can, you know, you can be very, like, you know, attractive, but if it doesn't flow, don't flow. Yeah. Like she has vibes, like, yeah, I'll get to know you. Yeah. But it's better when you can feel the energy face to face, isn't it? Yeah. Hundred. Yeah, because you could meet this person that you've had vibes with online, and yeah. then in yeah. second you're like, don't fancy it. And it's a catfish as well. Yeah. I'll tell you one story, yeah. Go on. <laughs> I love talking about it to the heart with you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one story, yeah. I remember <laughs> this. So right, she's in a relationship now, anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. Basically, chat to this girl, it's like, well, like she's Super cool, like whatever. Got you know, like the same music. You know, she gave me a number. I was like, "Whoa, this is sick. This is cool." I don't like. It. So we were saying, "Okay, we'll meet her. We'll go out for food. We'll watch a film, whatever." So I've come out of the station. I'm not gonna say what station it is. Yeah, just, yeah. Just in case, yeah. I've come out of the station now. So then I was like, oh, "She's like, because oh, there's loads of exits to the station. Loads of exits and entrances." Yeah. <laughs> And then, um, she's like, yeah, I'm on this one, yeah? And I was like, okay, cool. So I've come out of the station. And luckily, my my exit was, like, across the road, in it? Mm-hmm. And I, her face was down, yeah? Oh. But when she's lifted it up, yeah? And I was like, in my head, I'm thinking, it. Oh, my God, completely look different. Not drastically. Yeah. But I was like... Was it all, like, selfies that were, like, yeah. filters? Yeah. That's what I mean. You don't... You, you just don't know and what just like, someone is. So I'm si- I'm there, yeah, like. Oh. But what does she think's gonna happen when you go up and go? Um, you don't look like that. Well, not that anyone would say that because that's rude, I suppose. Me, but yeah. It's just did you walk away? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was did like, you go out there? Yeah, no. I was like, you know what, Liam? Like, you know, it's it's not like she was like entirely not my cup of tea. Yeah. But obviously, I had like an image in my head. Oh, I've manifested oh. the person, some yeah. person there, yeah, and yeah. it. So now I'm That's seeing, problem, I've, got, yeah. I've got the picture there, yeah? So I'm walking out with that in my head, walking up the stairs, seeing across the road, I'm like, mm? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. But to be fair, I was like, no, she's vibes, she's a great person, she's calm. I saw her a few times after that, and then we just kind of just like parted ways. Which yeah. Is like, Oh, that's good. Yeah, it wasn't like friends. There was mm, I wouldn't say we're friends, but we just um. She said to you, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, you know, she's cool. She's like happy and um, yeah, I'm happy and yeah. We've had some deep chats about love, haven't we? Oh, (laughs) last year was rough for me. Yeah, you you were going through it a bit last year. That was peak. And you said I was your love guru. Oh, mate. (laughs) Fact, because I remember when I'll come back to you, yeah, like with every update, like. This is what's happened. This is what happened. Yeah, that do that. And then I was like, and then I was like, do you know what? And then I remember one time I was like, do you know what? Fuck it. Man. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna leave it. And then when you leave it, that's when they come. I was like, what do I have to do? Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But I just, again, like, I look back. Yeah. But we all have to go through that, Liam. I know, but you know, you grow from that, you know. Yeah, you know. But when I was, you know, in that, I was like, when we was happy, oh, like, this is it. I'm yeah. done. Like what? Uh, at 22, I found someone that I proper lo- like. Yeah. I am gone. No one chat to me. Yeah, you no, were flying a bit, but yeah, yeah. Bro, I was living. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> I was like, this, this you is did great. Th- you did things for her that others might not have. Never, never. Yeah. But you know what? Like, I think that's you know. And sometimes I look back. Yeah. Well, at the time when I did it, and then it came. You know, a month after. Yeah. I felt like mad shit. Cause I'm like. Oh, like, what the hell do I have to do? Man, yeah, just, yeah. I, I remember this was like... But it shouldn't be that difficult. I said that to you at the time. No, I, know, I know, It shouldn't be that bloody hard. I mean, it was really current, being with her. It wasn't breaking up, separating from her. Um, there'll be times I go to bed, yeah, I'm like, God, just let me just, like, wake up tomorrow mm. and just forget about it completely. Like, come on, just let me just, like, scare my head. I'm like, don't want it, I just don't want it anymore. And then 
things go by, I'm like, okay, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, I'm still thinking about it. And then, you know, what I've realised, time is a massive oh, healer. Oh, massive. It, it's yeah. mad. It's Because you'll think about it 24-7. Yeah. And then uh, time will go by and then it's like you only think about it like three times in the day. Yeah. And then and then time will go and it's like, oh, I didn't think about it today. And I mean, it's... I'm not going to lie. I probably, I'm not. I do, it's weird, right? I haven't, you know, it's weird because I've never actually spoken about it properly. But like, I'm going to be honest, like, I probably do think about it probably like once a day. Not, not. You, it, are you going to let me put this out there? Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. So, you know what it is? I feel like I haven't had the opportunity to... Because it's been all in my head. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So... Will you regret sharing this, though? Nah. I mean, like, I don't... You're I, such an open book. I, I just, I just, I just... You know what it is as well? I've, you know, obviously, there's... A lot of people think that I'm, like, 100% happy all the time. And, like, you know, I'm always... Because you're very up, aren't right, you, as a person? Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. And, um... You know, there is a there is a, a stance where when you are or just in life in general where you should keep some stuff away from like social media mm. and just your private life and stuff. But it's one of those things where I realised that I felt a lot better once I've spoken about it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And obviously being feeling a type of way for like nearly god knows how many months, being able to comfortably talk about it just shows progression. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but talking is so important yeah, with yeah, anything. Yeah. Like, you keep it in and it never goes away. You don't deal with it. Nah. I mean, uh, you know, Roman um, Kent just did that program about his mate and, like, everyone has to talk. Otherwise, you know, people just get to a point where they can't do it anymore. And yeah. Stuff. And yeah. Uh, it's really important to talk. No, I no, make no. you talk too much. Oh, no, 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 no not, not at talk. It's like, and even, like, the other day, one of my boys called me, and um, he was going through like a situation with his his partner, and um, but in my head, yeah, like I think they're gonna be together forever. Yeah. Kids, like, like, dude, there's no way they can break up, get married, everything, kids, yeah. everything. But he told me it's rough. I was like, Shit. well, you don't know what happens behind closed doors, do you? But you know, this is the thing, though, isn't it? Like people, not purposely but has like painted this sort of exterior like this yeah. is what I want you to see yeah so when I'm getting like a message or you know him calling me I'm like oh shit but I said to him bro regardless of what you choose and what you do I'm here for you regardless yeah. do you know what I mean and um and then the next day he messaged me he's like no I'm gonna work it out I was like powerless I was like because I didn't want I didn't, I didn't want it to happen do you yeah, know what I mean yeah, like yeah. I, but whatever you choose I'll support you but I'm happy that you've worked out. That's a good friend. So, yeah. But that, again, going back, that's the problem with society today, yeah. is that we all paint this picture that everything's all right, or you feel like you've got to. Definitely. And, you know, people are suffering. It's rough. It is. It's rough. It but... is. Heartache's rough. Oh, God. Yeah, it's done it. Bloody hurts. I, there was three, I'll say, yeah, in my life, there was probably, yeah, did I say two people? Two people? Three people? Okay. I say like there was three people, yeah, no, two people that I thought like I genuinely love. You fall in that you? Like, I deep. felt. Oh, you see, like I see that I <laughs> you died. I died. Yeah, that I was falling, yeah, yeah. falling, mad love, mad. And there was like obviously, and then there was like in a collective like four people, including the two I just mentioned. That I would probably say that was like the most intense, like you know, lust and like just most like toxic thing. But I love it so much. Mm. But it was like, do you know what I mean? So feels so good. Feels so good, but it's so <laughs> raw. So Don't tight. look in the light. I can't help it. It's you know, so beautiful. Exactly. So yeah. um, I know, like, I don't know what will happen in the future, but I know there will be, you know, a new experience with someone else or whatever. Of course, so. there will. Oh, for you and me, mate. For you and me. Two happens, but my last podcast before this one was with my first love, actually. <gasps> so, yeah, it was quite good. Whoa. He's married. He's married now, but it, you know, it's quite funny to and imagine that I was nineteen. Like, I'm old now. That that That's... was quite nice to relive. So you might do that one day with this first love of I yours. Imagine that. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's good. Okay. And actually, you are my number 30 podcast, which is quite is a big, big number for me. Three old. Still older than you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Pleasure. Is there anything I've got to cut out? Uh, no, you're right. 
Oh well, I'll cut out some stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just look, I, just, I, just, I, just, I don't know. I'm just like, like, I'm, I don't know. But yeah, no, it was just good to like chat about some stuff in it. Yeah. Love you, man. I love you too. <laughs> love you for listening and don't forget to show love. Thank you as always to Ollie Trevers from the great Leslie Band for Saucy Naughty Rubbish and Danny Wright for staying in. Thank you Alex McArdle for the edits and thank you for listening. Catch us on at Show Love UK on social media. Bye. Started and then it all turned. Lay back in bed, reminisce instead. Let's plan it all in my head. Procrastination, self stimulation, instant gratification. I'm self medicating, therapist recommending more. Meditating, wasted education. I need more admiration, and I, I don't wanna bother with today. I pretty much missed it anyway. Might as well stay, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't wanna bother with today. I pretty much missed it anyway. Might as well stay. Shift the moon, so I order Chinese food. Said fuck it, just keep the change, dude. Finance situation, spent on dedication. Dreams of empty stadium, my name carved.